Warning, this show contains adult language, so viewer and listener discretion is advised. Welcome to another edition of Up and In It, a show dedicated to improving quality of life for both people and planet through liberation and independence, moving you from surviving to thriving and living life on your own terms. Uh, this is episode 255. I, my name is Adrian Babishoff, and welcome. And uh, today's discussion is danger in the age of information. Uh, excuse the background noise, that is the, my vehicle as, we do, as, as I do my work commutes or my commutes, I'm not working anymore. I wanted to talk today about the dangers of the age of information, and this one's really got me kind of unsettled because I think that there's a lot of things going on here. I think that there's a lot of mind control, some manipulation. I think we want to get to the bottom of things. There's a lot of things that I've been using on the internet uh, to that actually work. You know, remedies, old, old remedies of how to cure things with hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, all kinds of holistic things that, that are out there. And it's very nice, uh, but there's a lot of the information out there. And there's a lot of contradicting information out there. In fact, there's such a flood of information that when you're seeking the truth, I think it's very difficult to find. I have somebody near and dear to my life right now, and they're going through some problems and things, and they're researching a bunch of different uh, aspects of what they think that they're going through. And... They're coming up with all kinds of crazy, <laughs> crazy information. And I don't think we've ever had a time like this where this could feed you. This could be a negative or it could be a positive. So let's talk about that for a minute. What's going on exactly? I, the first thing on my notes here is there's flooding of, of the mind. So what we, what I think is happening is that there's so many people with opinions and voices to be heard, uh, so many cool things to say. I think that uh, nobody ever listened to most people before, whereas now you can get out on the internet and get like tens, thousands, millions of responses. So a lot of things I think people say, some of them are for the goodness of their heart. Maybe they're not educated in, in every single matter to, to form a, a complete opinion about something. But I think there's some people who utilize bad things for publicity to get numbers, subscribers, and basically just attention, and I think even money. So. What's happening is we're getting a flooding of information. I think that the internet is one of the best things that's ever happened to uh, humanity. Uh, I think there's there's so much stuff that to learn from, but the problem is there's so much of it that it starts flooding you. And when you're looking to find an answer to a problem, uh, and I have this in my notes here too, biased or unbiasedly, um, there's there, it's very difficult because there's so many things for it, so many things against it, so many pros, so many cons, so many things that you uh, want in life, I think, that you want to find. And that's the danger. If you really are looking for something and you want to be fortified, right, into what you believe in or, or, or some sort of, uh, uh, basically whatever mindset you're into, there is stuff out there to support you in it. But if you're not open-minded enough to look at the, uh, you know, the, the, the opposing side and the winning side and hear both sides of the story, then you're never really gonna get anywhere. And in fact, I think that's what exactly is the intentions of the powers that be is flooding so much information. Well, right now we've got like aliens, what fucking aliens landing and shit. They got the military, the goddamn military with a fucking video showing these things coming in and out of the oceans and all that. We got, uh, uh, what is that, CG uh, uh, implementation to, to they're, they're actually doing a 3D print of like Tupac Shakur, the rapper. Uh, on stage, I think they did Michael Jackson, and it looks so real. They're actually, uh, with CGI, I think it is. Yeah. And they actually showed different things of movie stars, pre President Trump, and all kinds of things where it actually looks, the voice, every So there's so much flood of information out there, it's hard to tell what's real and what's not. And in fact, it's so much now that I feel that it's actually stressing. It's causing uh, paranoia in some people. And for me, it's causing stress. And some some way forms, I guess I'll admit, some sort of some paranoia too, where I'm looking, go, what the fuck's going on with the garden system? Why are they the farming system? Uh, there's people, you know, farmers saying that the government's paying them to basically kill their crops. There's all kinds of stuff, like crazy shit going on, and I don't know what to make out of it, uh, other than I start losing my mind and my thoughts and losing my track of what actually I can do, what I do have control of, and what are the solutions. So yeah, very very dangerous and I see this as an overcrowding of the mind when I say this on my next uh, note I have here is over education uh, I experienced this I'm into a lot of different things and I'm sure you guys are as well 
uh, gardening, sustainability, survivalism, business, money management, investing, um, all kinds of lifestyle design. Just We're all over the place. The problem I see, though, is that we can become over-educated in that. I haven't been able to finish that thought in, in its entirety, but it seems like over-educated to me at the time being right now is that we're gonna, we get all this information and, and there's so much stuff accessible to us, accessible, that we start focusing on too many things and then our mind is just broadened out. Again, flooding of the mind. So we're so educated on so many things that, yes, they are important, but there's other things like the fucking earth we live on, you know? Maybe we want to stop using so much plastic and uh, just all kinds of, uh, an array of things that I can count on looks and say, hey, this is way more fucking important than going to Mars or fucking, you know, we got a lot of shit. We got ice melting. We got, you know, let's go see if that shit's real. Let's figure out what the fuck we can do about it. So we're educated on money and all these other things I look at as well, but we're not educated on what is cancer. Where did it even come from? Why are the, why is the, the, the hospital, the medication system, the medical society building giant hospitals ready for the influx of, of cancer, of diseases and they're already predicting of uh, uh, diabetes in children, like one out of uh, three, I think they said, uh, the Americans will be diabetic, American children. Those are the kind of things that I look at and take concern about. So over education, educated on sometimes on too many things where we need to get the fundamentals down. I guess what I want to spit out here, a solution and not just problems is that we need to figure out what exactly is the most important thing, health, happiness, uh, any form of spirituality, whether that's taking your shoes off, walking around in the dirt, and being around uh, nature, things like that. For me, uh, yoga. You know, hey, what, what are we doing when we get uh, older? What is the what's the American way? I don't know about the rest of the world, but stick your your old ass parents inside of an old age home so you don't have to fucking deal with them. How about we start worrying about our health, getting exercise, and doing things so that we can. Uh, not have to be in a wheelchair, not be, be shitting and pissing our pants, you know what I mean? <laughs> Although I fucking, you know, I'm, I'm pretty damn near that way. I'm getting so old, guys, I fucking sneezed and farted at the same time. I'm part of the fucking club. Anyways, moving forward. Um, you know, we talked about retirement, uh, about how postponing retirement and, do, and doing things in an alternative different way. What if you were able to take your life's work and use that to teach people? You know, that's exactly what my idea is, is, is permaculture, natural farming, gardening, and things like that, plant breeding. Uh, in my years, in the next 30, 40 years, if I even make it that fucking long, you know, aliens, they'll come and fucking rip us all. They'd take me first. They'd be like, nah, that thing's got to go to fertilizer. You know, there's probably a whole bunch like them. But uh, if that don't happen, I want to utilize the decades of experience I have to further my work and further educating people and helping my community and things around me and hopefully maybe even making some money off of it i like the whole stacking functions factor of you know teaching people how to garden or farm or something and then i get to go home and take and eat my homework right I get to eat my food so i'm stacking functions doing many things at, at the same time helping repair the earth and getting uh you know some social uh, life going on where i'm talking to a lot of enthusiastical uh, people who are wanting to learn you know so it can go multiple ways but yeah, next on my list here is the paranoia. And I think that uh, I've talked to a lot of people and, you know, well, Google says it's so, right? <laughs> They're supposed to be black ops helicopters landing a few years ago, taking people, corralling the homeless people into uh, these fucking, uh, I don't know, these farms or some shit. Like, just crazy, crazy fucking shit that can make you spin your head. And, uh, and a lot of it's very compelling, right? A lot of it seems pretty fucking real. A lot of these people have stories and facts and shit where you look and you're like, oh my God, this doesn't look like just a thought. This looks, you know, if you get into them. So, yeah, a bias or, or, or a bias mindset, I think, with all of this is, you know, holistic medicine and, and Western medicine, meaning like the doctors, right? You go to a doctor's or you go to a uh, health, you know, a, 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 what are we, I can start, God damn, I'm always fumbling my fucking words lately. You go to a uh, natural doctor, right? Somebody who studies holistics, and they want to heal you with herbs and things like that, an herbalist, but, or in contrast to a doctor. Suddenly, um, you know, when you're taking all these herbs and supplements and all this stuff, that the doctors say, that will do nothing for you. That's not going to do nothing for your blood pressure. That will do nothing for your diabetes or your heart. 
uh, your lungs, anything like that. No, you need antibiotics and you need all the rest of this shit. But magically, when you got to get surgery done or you're on some other medications, you should stop taking those holistic things, right? Uh, like a nutritionist. There it is. Thank you. The fucking thing just finally popped in my goddamn brain. Uh, suddenly these things, these supplements and bananas, even fruits, vegetables, some things you can't eat because it will complicate your surgery or it complicate your uh, medications that you're on. But uh, wait a minute. Excuse me. I thought you just said that these don't do anything, right? There's, there's just so much. So unbiasedly, if you go and look at everything, I'm not knocking Western medicine. I think that there's a place for it. Uh, but you got to go in and look at the pros, cons. you got to look at all the facts. And I think that the one thing going off a little spur here that we can, that we do have control of, is that we're all equipped with an intuition. And I think a lot of us, it's been beaten out of our fucking heads, you know, through... Uh, television and social media and all the all the distractions that we have around us we all have intuition you've all you felt it you felt it like you met somebody and you're like something's off with that person that's your intuition telling you hey you need to fucking do something different or maybe your intuition is telling you that you need to eat a certain type of food right you need a certain type of supplement or something you get the you get a craving why do you where do you get that craving from right this is your intuition we can utilize our intuition and not let them murder our magic or kill our curiosity and flood us with a complete fucking circus shit show of information. Pick and choose, my friends. Pick and choose the, the good stuff. Pick and choose all the, the things that will be helpful to you. And some of it's very hard. That's actually one of the things I'd like to do in the show is uh, if I ever do, did this full time, I can imagine waking up in the morning and giving you guys both sides. Uh, just every subject matter that we can think of. Uh, from anything, from pesticides to herbicides to uh, just everything. Uh, where plastics are made, what's the health benefits of this or that, what's the, uh, you know, I could go on and on and take like an entire day and just really put out a bunch of information, organize it, give you guys the pros and cons, and then you take it from there. That's really would be my dream because a lot of this stuff I do anyways, and I really would like to know myself, but God, it would be nice that if it was uh, paid for, and I was able to just really get deep into it. I'm hoping for the future, if you guys do like this show, that's kind of what I'm doing, these 15 minute segments, that uh, you know, maybe it'll start getting some momentum, something will happen, we'll get a sponsor or some sort, you know, by fucking like Disneyland dildos or some shit, you know, cause I swear all the time on this fucking show. And uh, I think the potty mouth might be getting us, so I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, I'm not sure if people are gonna really uh, bite into this. So I do it for fun. And I, I, I have these thoughts, and I have these this information and things, and I figured I would just share. And I think I've got one last one here. It's control from the inside out. Yeah, we went through all my notes. Control from the inside out. So that's where I look at. Strategically, what would be really nice is just to unload all the information. Uh, the, about the Illuminati, about fucking child abduction, all this crazy, weird-ass fucking shit that's going on right now. This... This is the craziest fucking thing, the things I've ever fucking heard of, you know? But this, to me, what a strategy. Just let all the information out. Make people fucking paranoid. Put out scary shit. Notice that we don't really have that much good shit. And notice how a lot of people, you know, answers to problems. I don't think a lot of people want the fucking answers to problems. They want to live in this weird fucking twisted up fucking world. But it's information, I think, that once it goes inside... And once you get somebody from when they're young, like the Catholics say, give us a Catholic from 7 to, I don't know, 11 years old, and we'll, we'll turn them into a Catholic for life. They imprint your mind from a very early age, and that's that. You're in. You're stuck. You're glued in, and that's that's how it's going to happen. So I think that you guys should guard yourselves. I think you should guard your children. I think you should guard your mind. We should really put some thought into where... We are being steered psychologically with all this information. Use it for the greater good or let it tear you down. Either way, it's all out there. Uh, it's the way you consume it and what you're going to do with it. So, guys, that's the show. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Up and in it on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, uh, and anywhere where I can well, let me blabber my fucking mouth off until they censor me. And there's upandinit.com, the website. Go there and subscribe because if they ever take me off about talking about all this weird shit, I'm going to pop up someplace else. So if you guys don't want to lose me, go down to upandinit.com. You guys can subscribe there. 
uh, give me your email address so, and I'll send you guys. I don't have time to do email marketing. I'm not selling shit, so don't worry about that. But I just wanted to make sure if you guys do want to follow this show, I'm going to start saying that a lot. Go over there and subscribe on the website. And let me know if you're – that will give me an idea too if people are even listening, how many we got out there. So, yeah, uh, as I always say, go out there and have yourself a near-life experience. Don't lose your muchness. Carry on the fire. Human up. Live it, love it, own it, and bone it, my friends.